Hi, my name is Shannon Haddock and I am a fiction specialist here at the Hoover Library. Today's book is kind of, I think, a, the pinnacle of what Kristen Hanna can do with his, historical fiction. The book is The Four Winds. It came out in February 2021 and probably has some holds on it, but uh, I will also give you some read-alikes at the end, so stay tuned for that. Four Winds deals with uh, the Depression and Dust Bowl era Texas. And by night, okay, so story of Elsa, she comes from a really good family, but she's kind of plain. And she's 25 years old and not married yet, which is frowned upon. She meets with a young uh, Catholic Italian man named Rafe Martinelli. He pays attention to her and she uh, ends up becoming pregnant and having to marry Rafe. He didn't expect this for his life. They settle in with his very, very kindly parents on a plot of land in Texas, and she falls in love with the family. And Rafe is uh, more and more um, disillusioned by their life on the land. He wants Hollywood, he wants big cities, things like that. As the depression carries on and life gets harder and harder, the Dust Bowl arrives in Texas and her in-laws uh, land won't produce anymore. Um, they suffer worse and worse health based on the Dust Bowl. Her, her young son is, uh, is, ha is coming down with dust pneumonia. So she takes a chance and moves her, her children, Loretta and um, Anthony, sorry, uh, moves them to California because everyone coming through Texas says that there's work in California. Uh, she does take make the journey and all they find are migrant camps and very spotty uh, migrant work in the fields. It's barely enough to keep them alive. And she finds herself more and more in debt to the company that runs the land. Uh, they charge her for housing and they charge her for everything. She's unable to get ahead. Um, all of this, it, Elsa, as the caretaker and, and mother, she takes care of her children. And she's very, very um, quiet and, and docile and does what she's told until her family is threatened. She slowly emerges in self-confidence, but had, makes friends in the migrant camps. Uh, they suffer a horrible blow when flooding comes and wipes out the camps. Um, all of this becomes even more of a burden on her until she starts seeing signs for um, strikes and unions. She becomes involved with a union worker all of this is just richly detailed. The story moves along so fast, it propels you to finish it. Um, it, it is a great read, wonderful, no matter how you, if you listen to it or read it. If you've placed a hold on Four Winds and are waiting for something similar to get you by until your hold comes up, you can try Wiley Cash, The Last Ballad. Um, Wiley Cash is a wonderful author. Another one that I've read that is similar in tone is Jen Phillips, um, The Well and the Mind. It is a wonderful book. Those two are fabulous. And, and uh, if you can't get Four Winds yet, try these two. Um, and I know you'll enjoy them. Happy reading.